Hello, welcome back. This is question 7 of the Cambridge IGCSE Mathematics paper 4 1, written in May June 2024. If you are seeing this video as your first video, kindly go to my YouTube channel. There is a playlist titled IGCSE Mathematics paper 4 1, May June 2024. There are 6 videos there for questions 1 to 6. Okay. So, um, question 7, the diagram shows a box in the shape of a cuboid. The box is open at the top, okay? So, that means we have five sides. So, this side, we have this side. So, we have the back, okay? We have the back, not the top. So, we have the front, okay? We have the front and we have the, the base, okay? So, these are the five sides. So, the top is open. Okay, so work out the surface area of the inside of the open box. Okay, so here it will be uh, the area of these five faces. Okay, added together will be the surface area of the inside of uh, the open box. Okay, so um, we have these for the bottom. So we have the dimension to be 70 by 30. So the area will be 70 multiplied by 30, okay, so plus, so we didn't put 2 here because the top is open, okay. Then for the two sides, so the dimension is 40 by 30, so the area will be 2, okay, that is for the two sides. So I saw you have 2 here, so 40 by 30, okay, so plus the last 2 will be the front and the back okay so the front uh, the dimension of the front is 70 by 40 the length is 70 the height is 40 so and we have front and back so we have 2 into 70 multiplied by 40 okay so without wasting much time you can uh, simply input this into your calculator and get your answer straight away Okay, so uh, if you pick the calculator, so you can actually input this. Okay, so you need to save time when you are working. So into bracket, so you can do 70 multiplied by 30. Okay, so close the bracket, then add 2 um, into bracket. Okay, so 40 okay, times 30. Okay. Close the bracket, then add 2 into 70, okay, times 40, okay, so you close the bracket, then hit enter, so this is what you get, so you have one, uh, 10,100 squared centimeters, okay, so this is what you get as the surface area of the inside so let's put it here 10,000 okay so I think we are good to go so remember figure 2 um, cylinders with I 20 centimeters and diameter 15 centimeters are placed in the box so work out the maximum number of these cylinders that can completely fit inside the box okay so if you come here so the cylinder is of the height of um, is height 40 centi uh, 20 centimeters okay so let's do this so this is just the rough sketch of the cylinder so you have 20 here and the diameter okay is of uh, 15 okay so if you want to arrange here so let's start from um, okay you can start from the front and you can start from the side okay but I think this side is okay so the height here from here Okay, so this place is 40, okay, so that means from here to here, that will be 20, okay, so that means the height will be 20 here, the height will be 20 here, so that means I can place uh, two cylinders here, okay, so they will, the two cylinders will fit in, okay, so if you look at this spot here, now we have 30, so for the first uh, cylinder at the bottom, okay, so the diameter is... Uh, 15 that means out of this length of 30 so it will occupy um, 15 centimeters okay so that means from here to here will be the diameter 15 
and from here to here okay something like this so this is the first cylinder okay so it will be 15 by 20 so the second uh, so to say okay, let me make it up to this place so this is the first cylinder for instance from here okay to here that is the first cylinder so 15 by 20 so the second one will be from here something like this okay so that will be 15 by 20 as well so the height will be 40 altogether so you can see that now i still have a uh, space of 15 centimeters here so that means i can put another cylinder here like this so it will be 15 centimeters okay and i can put one on top of it again that will be uh the remaining 20 centimeters up here so that means from this side now i can place four uh, cylinders here now so don't forget that as i place the four cylinders here okay so they also occupy the same space here that is uh here to be 15 okay because that's the diameter okay it will also take 15 here so that's this don't forget that i already have four so and i place them on top like this so if i that is one set so if i so one set will take 15 centimeters here too okay so another set so that when i say set that means four cylinders so i can put another four sets of cylinders here okay so let's say set of four one the second set will be from here to here so that is another 15 centimeter so that is another set so i can have another set so that will be 15 centimeters as well another four uh, set of cylinders okay right? so that is um, 45 now so i can see i have another uh, one more set so this will be a set of four cylinders again so that will be 15 again so we'll be left with 10 okay so of course it cannot fit in here so this place cannot be used okay so that means i have um, lots of four in four places right four 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 so that is a uh, 16 okay so because each set is uh, contains four cylinders okay and we can arrange them in four rows like this okay so that is 16 cylinders so pretty easy so i think i like this question a lot very interesting okay so this will be uh, 16 okay um, cylinders i think the explanation has been drawn and done here okay so you can see that uh, the if you want to write the width will fit in two the height will fit in two and here will fit in four so you can see that okay so anyhow you write it's okay so in as much it will get 16 okay so um the next question will be part b a solid bones uh, cone has sorry let me take that again a solid bronze cone has a mass 750 grams the density of the bronze is 8.9 grams per centimeter cube the ratio uh, radius of cone to height of cone okay so is um one two three show that the radius of the cone is 2.99 centimeters correct to three significant figures you have been given the density of uh, the formula for density and you have, you've been given uh, the formula for the um, volume of a cone so if you start from let's start from this ratio here so that is uh, the radius of the cone to the height is one to three so the implication is that if the radius is one okay then uh, the height will be uh, twice so if r equals to r okay then the h will be equals to 3r so that is uh, h okay so uh, from here we need to get the volume so we know that volume since density equals to mass over volume okay then volume equals to mass divided by density and in this case the mass is given as uh, 750 then divided by 8.9 okay so by the time you um, input this into your calculator you get 80 84.2697 um, that will be the volume 
okay so from here we can now use the formula that uh, the volume okay v equals to 1 over 3 pi r square h so we can key in the values here okay so that implies that it implies that the volume equals to 84.2697 so equals to 1 over 3 multiplied by the value of pi you may want to use um 3.142 or you just leave it as pi and input it directly into your calculator okay then the radius uh the radius is r so it will be r squared sorry let's write that r squared multiplied by the height the height is 3r so that 3 can cancel 3a so we are left with this so this will be r squared times r that will be r cube so we are left with um this that is 84.2697 equals to pi r um, cube okay so if you divide both sides by pi okay pi we can show pi so if you input this into your calculator so r will be equals to cube root of this so i can cancel the uh the cube here then i'll put cube root here so that will be the value of r r equals to um, cube root of this okay so if you input this into your calculator so uh, the value of r should be approximately 2.99 centimeters okay so remember figure two calculate the total surface area of the cone okay the core surface area of a cone uh a of a cone the core surface area a of a cone which radius r and slant uh, height l is given as this okay so it's pretty easy okay to calculate the total surface area okay so the total surface area okay tsa of a cone total surface area will equals to the core surface area by rl plus the um base area that is the pi r squared okay so we need to calculate the value of um l here okay so but if you draw the triangle here let's have a sketch here so you have a right angle this will be the height this will be the slant height and uh this will be the radius of the of the cone thereabouts okay so let's get in the values here so we have 2.99 as the radius and the height will be 3 times 2.99 that will be 8.97 8.97 so you can get this uh, here so the slant height l will be equals to square root of that is using Pythagoras theorem so that will be 8.97 squared plus 2.99 squared okay like this okay so if you input this into your calculator l should be equals to 9.46 so we are good to go to calculate the total surface area equals to pi open bracket 3.142 multiply by the radius which is 2.99 then multiplied by um, l which is 9.46 then plus 3.142 multiplied by the radius which is 2.99 then squared so we can do this directly and get the value to be equals to 117 centimeter squared as the total surface area 117 centimeter squared okay so this will be the end of my solution to question uh, seven in the next video i will solve question eight until then have your fingers crossed